The final chapter! No! This has been so much fun. These episodes have been such a blast. Welcome back to Flix and Chill. Chapter or episode, I guess, for Mark and Camila. Ooh, it seems like it's gonna get sexy. Maybe a little Latin love tonight. Um, not saying they have to be Latin. I'm just saying it'd be nice if we could make some Latin love. Whatever that means. I, I just think it'd be very sensual, very nice. Uh, but I just got news on Twitter from you guys yesterday that they released a new Flix and Chill called Millennials. Millennials. Netflix and or Flix and Chill Millennials. So there's a second part. So that might mean more episodes. I'm just saying, like, I have to keep this going if I can. Thank you for watching. Let's jump right into it. Let's see, let's see what the uh let's see what the vibe is. Let's see what we're getting. Let me make sure I have space on my computer. Cause that that's been a problem before. Alright, we're good. Oh what did I say? <laughs> oh shit. Okay, so let's see what I've written so far. No, that can't be Mark's voice. Okay, so let's see what I've written so far. Yeah, I can. I like it. TP, me is a toilet paper renewal service. No, this doesn't work. TP me is a toilet renewal service that automatically senses when you run out of toilet paper. Sends a new package of toilet paper to your door. The toilet paper itself is made from 80% recycled toilet paper, making it one of the greenest investments you can make. For a subscription of only $8 per month, it's a bargain and a great for professionals too. Busy to buy their own toilet paper. <laughs> we talking about toilet paper? Ready to get TP'd? Sign up at TP me today. Hey buddy, still working on that pitch? Yup, it's about ready to send off to the investors. It's lunchtime, Mark. You should be enjoying some of Sarita's homemade enchiladas. They're organic. <laughs> I hate Steven already. <laughs> it's so loud. I don't have time for enchiladas, Steven. The future of toilet delivery is at stake. Look, Mark, I know having this startup is really important to you. It's really important to me too. But you gotta take scheduled breaks once in a while. It's very important. It helps keep your mind sharp and allows you to deliver quality work. I mean, even Steve Jobs took frequent breaks to mediate and ponder his place. In the universe, you should as well. Hmm, okay. So I should go on yoga retreat or something. Hell no, that's boring. How about this? Why don't you come along tonight to this tango class I've been going to? It'll be great. It'll really help you reconnect with your artistic side and you'll come back sharper than ever and ready to do it. <laughs> Yoga's boring. Tango is the shit. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Plus, there will be sex. <laughs> if your friends ever say, plus there will be sexy ladies there. Plus, there will be sexy ladies there. And no offense, ma'am, but I don't see you going on too many dates lately. So what do you say? I want to say go away, Steven. Sexy ladies say, all right. Sexy ladies say no more. You have my attention. Haha, <laughs> great. Meet me there at eight. It'll be awesome. Just you wait. <laughs> Uh, oh, and by the way, you want one of those enchiladas? I think there's a garlic. <laughs> Who makes garlic enchiladas? I think there's a garlic one left, or you can just eat my granola bar over there. Uh, okay, I feel like this is an important decision. I mean, it's a garlic enchilada. I'm not gonna eat that. That's gonna make my breath smell bad. Not good for the ladies. I'll eat a little bit of a granola bar just to like, Hold me over. Oh yeah, I, I think I'll go for a granola bar. Nothing too heavy, thanks man. No prob, see you at eight, bud. Hey, see ya. <laughs> TP me. Ooh, the night is young and so are we. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
This is the tango now. <laughs> the grandma's still stuck in the 70s. She's just dancing. All right, here we are. It looks like a like a gallery in here. Yeah, ain't it great? Oh God. Ah, Steven, how nice to see you again. Buenos noches, Antonio. Oh God, this is gonna be hard. Ah, and who is this? A fledging tango dancer? This is my buddy, Mark. <laughs> I'm done with like the little things in this game. Why does he look like he wants to fight me? Like, you want to go, Steven? Say it to my face. Come on! Come on, motherfucker! He's the fellow co-founder of our company. Ah, it's so nice to meet you. Any friend of Steven's is a friend of mine. I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna be nice. Hey, the pleasure's all mine. Antonio, nice to meet you, bro. Antonio's been dancing the tango professionally for 30 years. He's amazing. I think Steven has a crush on Antonio. Oh, you humble me, Steven. I am merely a student, as we all are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have class to begin. I hope you enjoy. Mark. <laughs> Bites his teeth. <laughs> ah, this episode's cringe. Uh, thanks, Antonio. Looking, looking forward to it. Where are the girls? He's so cool. Hey, you want a mint? Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Why not? Should probably smell nice so I'm not breathing gross breath in anyone's face. What the heck? That is not a mint! Oh. Three? Want some advice? You should try looking for your partner now before the class starts and she gets taken. I got dibs on that one over there. Who, Antonio? Wait, who, Antonio? No, his assistant, Veronica. To be honest, she's the real reason I come here every week. Haba haba. Hmm, okay. Let me see who my partner will be. Hmm. It's gonna be this one. I already know, but let's, let's, you know. Actually, I should pick her straight up, right? I shouldn't mess around, like pick a bunch of other girls. I should get the, who's that? Oh, that's Bill and Bridget. Bill's mad because his wife's forcing him to come here. It's some kind of bucket list thing. <laughs> oh man, poor guy. All right, this is my girl, I know it. Wow, who's that? The girl on the left, that's Sarah. She likes punk rock. No, 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 no. The girl on the right, the Latina. I just realized I don't think Mark is Latino. <laughs> But he is now, mother truckers. You were with me for the ride. Holy crap. Oh, ho, ho. You got a good eye, my friend. That's Camilla. She comes here every week as well. She's a really good dancer. Is she single? Well, why don't you dance with her and inadvertently find out? Hmm, oh, maybe I will. We got this, we got this. Gather around. The class is about to start. Oh, oh boy, here we go. So, who here has ever been to a tango class before? Not raising my hand. The history of tango is a long and interesting one. Contrary to popular belief, it is solely a Latin dance, although it did not originate along the border of Uruguay and Argentina. Actually, it has influences of African and Europe culture and originated in the lower class districts of the outskirts of Argentina, created by my immigrants all over the world. Hmm. Oh shit! Why'd I do that? I, I should have caught that. Hmm, I wonder how many click throughs I'm getting on that marketing campaign. Shh! Stay in the moment, Mark! Although a very sultry and romantic dance, the dance is actually designed as a form of conflict resolution, like a dance battle, if you will. The way you move, the call and the response, the way you break away and then come back together, it's reminiscent of a dispute between two lovers. So at its very core, it is sexy because it acknowledges the fierce passion isn't always an easy thing. And that every relationship is developed through strife. All right, we got this. Here's what we're doing. We're pulling away, then we're coming back in. Pulling away, coming back in. We're like a airplane that keeps getting rewinded. Boom, 
That's how we're doing it. Nope, don't think about it. And so tango is a beautiful argument developed by people from cultures all over the world. And in my opinion, it's one of the most important dances you can learn to feel truly alive. So let's get dancing. Veronica, please guide our students for the first step. Please don't make me click the screen. Okay, so to begin, let me teach you how to ask a partner to dance. The way one would ask someone to dance is not by simply going up and asking them. No, 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 no. That can be awkward, especially when the man is inevitably rejected. The correct way is to ask is using a cabeco, cabecillo, which comes from the word cabeza, meaning head. Just crack your neck, baby. You got it perfect. Oh yeah, that gives all the boys the boner. <laughs> Do you see it's a tiny head motion that you ask a woman to dance from across the dance floor? If she says yes, then you can proceed to ask her verbally. Now you try, lock eyes with your desired partner and give her the cabecillo. What do I have to click? I'm ready, I'm giving her the head motion. I don't even remember, this is my character, right? Spam clicking. Hey. Hey. Oh God. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh man, everyone's in my way. I, I can't cabeceo Camila. I just gotta get the right angle. Do I have to move? Time the head motion just right by clicking anywhere when the notification pops up. Got it. Cabasillo, yes, I'm coming for you. You beautiful thing, I just want to do you. Not like that. Well, sort of like that. Boom! Don't get grandma. Oh, you see me? You see me, Cabasillo, right here. Oh, the moonwalk! No! Oh, yes, young man, I would love to dance with you. Um, I didn't, I didn't mean... Speak with your body, not your lips. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay, I see that each of you has your partner. However, in Tango, like love, it is never so simple. So we're going to do a little swinging. <laughs> what kind of class did you take me to? Shh. You must grip your partner firmly, but you must also learn to let go with grace. Now begin. A bunch of rings will pop up. Hit the blue. <laughs> I always think this is like people talking. A bunch of rings will pop up. Hit the blue one to switch to the right partner. Hit the blue one. Switch. Oh, shoot. Not what are you doing? <laughs> what with that, homie? Oops, sorry. Blue one. Switch. There we go. God dang it. Where is she? Switch. There we go. Please be with her. God, come on. Switch. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh. After a series of hard romances, you finally land upon your partner you can tolerate for more than five minutes. Oh, um, hi, hi, I'm Mark. <laughs> this accent just does not work with Mark, but I gotta keep it going because I've already been doing this for 10, 15 minutes. So, uh, I'm Camilla. It's very nice to meet you, Camilla. You learn about their interests, what makes them tick. Um, you dance very well. <laughs> you think? I'm still very new to tango, but I love it. It, it reminds me of home. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. The only dancing my family did when I was my aunt got drunk at parties and started grinding on the neighbor. <laughs> you have a very strange family. <laughs> I indeed I do. Dip! Dip! Derp? It said derp on the screen. It's too much fast clicking. You learn more about your partner with time and experience. So what do you do for work? Uh, I'm an innovative entrepreneur. 
Ah, another man who thinks he can change the world by making apps. Hey, you can change the world by making apps. Look at Uber or Facebook. Well, uh, I'll believe it when I see it, Chico. She called me Chico. Dip. Ah! So glad I'm standing up for this episode. That's right, Reddit. I'm standing up. With even more time, you learn to know their strengths, their weaknesses. Ah, uh, you know, I, I never say this, but your breath smells very nice. I find oral hygiene very attractive in a man. That's why we didn't eat the garlic. That's why we took the mint. What's up? Oh, um, thanks. <laughs> Dip. Boom, baby. What's up, girl? She's mine. And that concludes the class. That's it? However, before we conclude each class, I always ask if any of you would like to dance, show off what you have, so to speak. Anyone? Dude, you should totally ask Camilla to dance for the class. What, are you, are you serious? It'll be super embarrassing if she says no. In the immortal words of Steve Jobs, stay foolish, stay hungry. Now that you mention it, I'm still kind of hungry. That granola bar didn't cut it. Perfect. Go to her, my man. I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out because I didn't eat a meal. All right, but if I get rejected, it's on you. Oh, hi, hi again, Chico. Hey, Camila. So I, I really enjoyed dancing with you. I feel like we have some really cool chemistry. Uh huh. Well, I was wondering if. You, if you'd like to dance now, kind of show off our moves a bit. How's that sound? Hmm, you know what? Sounds like it might be fun. Let's do it. Oh, we volunteer. God damn it, this is gonna suck, wieners. Big fat, oh. Click the roses to catch them and bust the move. Where are they? Ah! <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> I'm busting moves all over Camilla not sexy but holy crap that was incredible no way this guy's a liar <laughs> she's 2D she's not even real she's made of paper Camilla <laughs> she's not a real person this is not real. This whole world's not real. I'm crushing it though. <laughs> watch when she turns. Watch, watch, watch. Right here. The game broke. Right here. <laughs> oh. Bravo, bravo. Marvelously done. Wow, I've never done that before. Wow, you sure know how to dance. Are you sure this is your first time? Amazing, Mark. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think about some coffee sometime? I think that sounds lovely. I pass it and takes two to tango. Dude, I crushed that. Let's go. And so I conclude that with the subscription model and the allure of 80% recycled paper, we can have an ROI that it far exceeds the initial investment. Gentlemen, the world is ready to get TP'd. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, what do you guys think? Brilliant. Outstanding. Marvelous. <laughs> oh, just marvelous. So you like it then? Like it? <laughs> My boy, you have just secured funding for the next five years. I cannot wait to get TP'd myself. For the next 10 years, I want to go ahead and have the service go live by the first week of next month. Wow, and thank you, sir. I won't let you down. <laughs> Is that it? Is that the finale? Oh my god. That wasn't enough Netflix and chill for me, man. I would have been really bummed if... <laughs> it was just me doing a bunch of different characters for 15 minutes. I would have been really bummed, like, if there wasn't another Netflix and Chill. But there is Flix and Chill Millennials. I'm going to be playing it. I don't know how many chapters or episodes there are, but we'll do them. 
Uh, please, if you still enjoyed this series, throw a like. Just comment down below is more important than liking it, actually. Just let me know if you enjoy it, if you laugh, and whatever. If you liked my Mark accent. <laughs> Oh man, I always have so much fun with these. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you very soon. Until next time, peace out.